That's right. Now, another hoop fest means that there are more competitors from St. Luke's Rehabilitation Institute. They are hitting the court. That's right. On their roster is a young boy from Ethiopia. His journey started in Ethiopia. It's ended here in Spokane, where he's now a resident. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl has his really inspirational story. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Like most basketball fanatics, Josh Brewer loves to shoot hoops, but he's had to overcome more than just opponents on the court. I've been practicing shooting baskets, trying to do moves and the right moves. It's game day for Josh Brewer, his teammates Ziggy and Austin, and the nerves are kicking in. I'm not sure if I'm going to try. I'm going to win or not. This is the first time the trio have taken to the court as a team. Josh has never played in hoop fest. Josh, you need to be out there. With his adoptive family and friends cheering from the sidelines, it's hard to believe how far this 13-year-old has come. I got an accident in Ethiopia, a train accident. Thousands of miles away in his native land of Ethiopia, he fell off a train and lost three limbs. I used to live in the street, and then uh, we, we used to use the trains to go to one city to another. Josh says he was nearly left for dead, but a policeman stepped in to help. Now this budding athlete loves basketball and can't get enough. It's something his mother, Laura, supports. Okay, let's go for it. Have fun. And so that's what we do. For a hoop fest rookie, Josh tore up the asphalt on his first day, impressing one of his biggest fans. They did an amazing job. I'm so impressed. And fellow St. Luke's rehab teammates. He did great. For the first time, he did amazing. Josh and his teammates actually won their first game 15-4, to 4, and they're going to be back out here tomorrow at noon. Reporting live from Hoop Fest, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.